All right, we are back for the next part, YouTube. Alfred, mother is in the back room. She's okay. Oh, that's a relief. Thank you, all of you, for rescuing me. My children, you're safe. What a relief. We have a guest, mother. Someone came all the way from Lethos to see you. The Divine Dragon? Queen Ab, it's an honor to meet you. I'm so glad that you're all right. I've come here by invitation of Prince Alfred. Just look at you, awake at long last. I am Ev, the Queen of Firene. It is my absolute pleasure to welcome you. The Divine Dragon has come to help our country, Mother. We were just in time to rescue Saline. And get this, the Divine One summoned Emblem Celica from our ring. A legendary emblem. Oh my, how extraordinary. Thank you sincerely. You have my deepest gratitude. My family is safe because of you. You are blessed with the same powers as your mother. How is Queen Lumera? Well, she's... she's gone. My mother passed away. No, that's awful. I'm so sorry. Some intruders entered the castle. They tried to kill me, but she gave her life to protect mine. Oh, how tragic. I'm glad that... that I could spare your children the pain of losing their mother. <sighs> My heart goes out to you. Forgive me. We've only just met, and here I am, laying my grief at your feet. I just wish I could have saved her, too. Divine One, while I cannot take away your sorrow, perhaps I can help you bear it. To reunite with her and then lose her so soon, I can only imagine how painful that was. For now, allow yourself to grieve knowing that I grieve with you. Thank you, Queen Ev. Your warmth, your kindness. It's almost like she's here with me. How are you feeling? Better. I'm sorry you had to see me like that. No, we shouldn't have dragged you into all this right now. I'm sorry, Divine One. As am I. But if I hadn't left when I did, what might have happened to you, Selene? Or you, Queen of? I'm proud to serve people in need, like my mother did. Thank you. Now, the Illusion leader. She said her kingdom released the Fell Dragon. I take it that's why the Corrupted are appearing in Elios again. Now there's no question that the Fell Dragon's after the rings. Which means we need to hurry. Head them off before they can reach the next one. Queen of, your country's ring. May I take it? Of course. The Kingdom of Firene gives it with love, trust, and gratitude. Thank you very much. There is something you should know, however. My kingdom has another emblem ring in its possession. What? Since when? There is another ring? Here in Firene? It was kept secret to avoid conflict. For generations, knowledge of this ring has been confined to the monarchs of Firene. However, now that the Fell Dragon has arisen, it is best to dispel the Shroud of Secrecy. It is commonly thought that the Divine Dragon gave one ring to each country's leader. However, Firene received a second. The Ring of the Dawn Maiden. I see. To ensure that no one would find it, the ring was hidden away far from the castle. It rests in a shrine on the Brodian border. Oh, I remember those old ruins. What? You do? Yeah. Mother took me there after father died. She told me to keep the location in mind. At the time, I didn't know why. Now it makes sense. I was preparing you for the day you became king. I'll take everyone to the shrine. From there, I can continue on with the Divine Dragon. So, you are leaving, Alfred? Yes. I want to do my part to end this war. With your blessing, Mother, I'm going to help the Divine Dragon bring peace to Elios. Mother, I would like to join as well. Alfred, Saline, You have my blessing. I know you will serve the Divine Dragon with honor, on one condition. 
Swear to me that you will come back alive. I swear it. I swear it. Thank you very much, Queen Ev. I trust that you will take some time to rest prior to your departure. The journey ahead will be arduous, but know that you are all in my prayers. May good fortune shine upon you. Ten thousand gold. Let's go. All right. I'm gonna do the exploring right here. We're gonna cut this out of the video, so you're gonna see a little time skip YouTube, just to save, so we don't have like an hour long recording like last time. If anything important comes up, uh, you'll see it. Hey there. You're the Divine Dragon, right? You got a second to talk? Who might you be? Me? I'm a blacksmith. You can call me Kelne. And I am Pinay, a clothier. Pleased to meet you. I'll cut right to it. Our friend Durton wrote us and said he opened a shop at your base. And, well, we'd like to go there too. We'll be a real help. I can strengthen your weapons. My clothes and accessories won't win you any battles, but they will catch eyes and turn heads. If Durton vouches for you, that's good enough for me. Please come along to the Somnia. Really? That's great. You'll be glad to have us around, I promise. Indeed. Thank you, Divine One. <laughs> okay. I think I lost him. <laughs> really? You sure about that, darling? <laughs> You're shaking like a leaf. I take it you failed to obtain the ring. Uh, apologies, ma'am. Those guys were tougher than they looked. But I... I can tell you things. Stuff that'll help you track it down. Like the fact that Princess Saline ran off with it. The Divine Dragon has it now. Pretty good info, right? <laughs> hmm. What do you say? How about we call it even this time around? <laughs> I won't let you down again. Oh. How naive you are. After you fail me once, there is no second chance. No! Please don't kill me! Please don't kill me! Ooh. I am sorry, my lady. Apologies for the mess. ...and our failure to acquire the ring. <laughs> I swear that's the person that saved me earlier. I was expecting to get at least one. At least now we know that Lumera is dead. Yes, but there's another Divine Dragon to take her place. I can't believe that Beast had a child. It does explain why she was so willing to sacrifice her life. What should we do? The battle at Lethos Castle took its toll. We're in no shape for another confrontation. We'd best lie low for a spell. Leave them be, for now. Understood. All right, so the exploration literally is just me getting like menial resources, cheap dialogue that doesn't really like, Oh, thank you for what you did. Like, nothing that's going to drive the story forward, right? It's just, you know, you're trying to get more emotionally attached. One of the guys repeated what they said at the last one. I'm like, what in the world? All right. Um, oh, the air in the grotto is a few of the, the smithy and boutique are open. All right. Let me, uh, we'll do a little bit of exploring. If this goes to close to 30 minutes, we'll just call this the exploration one. That way you're, you know, 10 minutes in and you get to see what we got. So we got... Expansion pass bonus items received. Seraph rope secret book. Okay, so we already got a seraph rope. I think those are permanent um, increases to stuff. We got update bonus one received. Okay, cool. Um, I can now manage my skills. What? My mind is blown. Select manage skills from the inventory menu to see. Oh man, I meant to get more water. Inventory menu to see your ally skills and equip inherited ones. Allies can inherit skills from emblems in the ring chamber on the Somnial. Ooh. We'll go check that out. All right, first, we have people's bonds to deepen. Marth, you, talk to me. <laughs> After I fight side by side with someone, I find myself seeking them out on the Somnial. 
All right. Um, I'm going to do the resource gathering first real quick. So we will fast forward that and we'll be right back. Oh my God. As soon as I moved, I got a cutscene. So I guess we'll wait a second. The armory and item shots are over. Okay, so they're just telling me things are over here. Let's run around real quick. Do 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 because it's probably gonna tell me the arena's open too. No? Okay. No more cutscenes? Alright. <laughs> now we'll be right back. Let me go gather these resources. Alright, so we came across a pedestal. Not sure what this is yet. We're about to find out. The Amiibo Gazebo is... Oh my lord, of course it's the Amiibo Gazebo. Alright, so I have no Amiibos. But, um... So we'll never have to interact with that. <laughs> Alright, let me run down here. Uh... Wanna go over here, grab this. I guess we're gonna go under, and once again, we'll be back again. Oh, Vander? What do you know about this little one? Not much, unfortunately. It began to appear shortly before you awoke from your slumber. Queen Lumera once said it is something of a guardian spirit for the Somniel. Claimed to have played with it in her youth. Oh, she did? So this creature has been alive for a very long time. You know, I do feel a sort of affinity toward it. It seems to have taken a liking to you as well, Divine One. Would it please you to care for it? If it is truly the guardian spirit of the Somniel, doing so may bring some manner of benefit. Oh, what a great idea! Now that I've met it, I'd like us to be friends. Let's see. I'll call you... Nice to meet you. I hope you like your new name. It looks well pleased. Don't forget to say hello to it when next you see it around. Okay. Alright. Um, feed? What the heck does it like? Surely it likes berries. Oh, it's got a little, in the bottom right corner, a little bar happiness meter. Did it shake or did it poop on the spot? What the heck just happened? Oh, I can keep feeding it. Does it like me more now? Nothing happened in the bottom right corner of the screen. Okay, beating it more than once doesn't seem to do anything. Let's just pet it. I'm petting it increase. Okay, so do each action once. Feeding and petting. And it... <laughs> I swear, it's like it poops out bond fragments. <laughs> and then we can dress it up. Um, I cannot. Bruh. <laughs> I'm thinking the shades, though. Or the hat. We're gonna go with the shades. Oh, something for the tail. A bow? No. No bows. No wings? A grand garb. We're gonna go with the wings. Scarf color blue. Oh, the, the red. Alright. Well, that's that. So, mysterious pet. Here we go. Moving on.
Strength training is now available. All right, so we're here. We're at the strength training. We're going to check this out real quick. Let's see what this guy mm -hmm. has to say about it. Is it time for your strength training? Um, yes. yes. Understood. I shall call Prince Alfred for you. In strength training, you can choose from three different exercises to get temporary boost to girl stats. Okay. Each exercise plays differently and affects a different stat. Try for top scores in all of them. You will unlock more difficulties for each exercise as you progress through the story. Wait, wait. Temporary boost, okay. What'll it be? Um Speed will increase, miss three times and it's over. Girl's strength may get a boost in the next battle. Girl's HP, girl's dexterity. Um move both sticks in rhythm. Use good timing to stop the bar at the right position. Mash the button. Okay, let's do push-ups. Let's get some strength. Wait. Uh, push-ups are about timing. Stop the bar at the perfect position right when it speeds up. It ends if you miss three times. Stop the bar at the perfect right when it speeds up. Do the specified number of push-ups to complete the activity. The bar will get faster over time. Stay so Aim to get fit. Okay. How hard do you want to go? Normal. Want a training partner? Pet will help you out if it likes you. Sure. Keep it up! Nice! Keep it up! I guess I'm supposed to let it hit the bottom? Nice! 20 times! Keep it up! Oh, I missed it, but I got an assist. Twice. Looking good. Oh, perfect. Wait, which one's the perfect? The perfect. smaller bar? Yeah, the smaller one. Nice. Speed up. Keep it up. Okay. Nice. All right. Keep it up. Got a bad. Nice. Here we go. Looking good. Perfect. Hang in there. Uh oh. All right. Yay. Oh, almost that was failed. A good workout. All right. <clears throat> High score. New record. A B. I got 300 for perfect. Bad. And then two times helped. Nice. Pet helped. Thanks. As strength will be plus one. I sucked. Hey, we got bound fragments. Um, you won't get any further further bonuses or rewards, but do you want to continue strength training? No. Let's do this again sometime. Absolutely not. Agreed. I suppose we'll just an honor on the battlefield. Alright, cool. Um, and then we don't alright. So um you can deploy your pet, so we're just gonna call this the uh the Somniel episode. Oh, we can talk with her real quick. Mm. I was able to change everyone's outfits, so that was pretty cool. We'll go over Oh, here's a gift. Hey, you want horse manure? <laughs> The... Nope. Alright. Well then. <laughs> I don't know who to give that to. Alright, so you can deploy the pets that you have recruited here. Um, they haven't done anything for me yet. Um, And then in the middle... Oh, there's someone that wants to talk to me over here. Who's... Someone wants to talk to me. Oh, I need to do their, uh, their thingy thing, right? Um... Oh, support. There we go. I knew I needed something. Divine one, what are you doing? Oh, hello, clan. I was just tidying up a bit. Tomorrow's a busy day, so I thought I'd get it out of the way now. Let me take care of that. You should get some rest. That's all right. I can handle it. No, no, that won't do. I'm gonna have to insist. But, please. You know, I waited a long time for you to wake up. And not just me. The stewards before me spent their whole lives waiting. Now, after a thousand years, I get to serve you. It's like a miracle. So, please, let me do it. Honestly, truly, I would be honored to help. Very well. You've convinced me. I'll leave it to you. Thank you, Divine One. I should be thanking you for taking such great care of me. I'm very lucky to have you as a steward. You mean it? Oh, man, I'm so happy I can faint! <laughs> Please don't. Now that I'm free from tidying up, I'm going to get some rest. Alright. 
<clears throat> Plan and girl support levels to reach C. I forgot I need to work on people's support levels, right? So, um... Oh, that's right. So someone else needed support. Um... Let's go up here. So, and then we're going to check out the arena. I think the arena is unlocked. We're going to check that out. We'll, we'll have this episode just be uh, on YouTube. We'll have this just be the Somnial, I guess. Uh, and I'll talk about the uh, the mm -hmm. two shops, I guess, real quick. <sighs> I've hit my limit for training today. Excellent work, Divine One. I brought a hot towel for your face. I think you will find it most refreshing. Thank you, Vander. That's very kind of you. I have also prepared a fresh change of clothes for you. When you change, deposit your dirty clothes into the basket, and I will wash them for you. I appreciate your generosity, Vander, but I'd prefer to take care of my own laundry. Certainly you have other tasks to keep you busy. My only obligation is to you, Divine One. Feel no hesitation in asking me for anything. But... It has been my duty to wait on you since long before you awakened. Were you to assume my duties for yourself, my position would cease to exist. So please, leave these trivialities to me where they belong, and trouble yourself no further. Again, I appreciate your willingness to help me, but I do feel a bit bad about all this. There is nothing in all of Elios to feel bad about, Divine One. Now I must insist you change out of your damp clothes before you catch yourself a cold. Alright. <clears throat> so, um, as long as the arena's here, we will, uh, we'll let this episode just be with Somnial. So the shop real quick. You have the weapon shop and you have the clothing shop. Now you can change everyone's clothing here. I chose this outfit, which looks out of place here. But it's because it's the only outfit that changed her hairstyle. And her hairstyle was just all up in the way. It looks very ridiculous right now. It looks like licorice. Um, but you spend resources, you unlock co uh, you unlock outfits for people. But once you unlock the outfit, it can be applied to anyone. Right? It's not per person. But this is where you would... This is where you would refine armor, um, or your gear, right? So, you make things stronger by spending resources. I spent all my resources on clothing. Shocking. And then you can engrave stuff to make your weapons stronger. So, like, I, I took the spirit of Marth and put it into my sword that I'm using with girl, right? So, it just makes sense. So, I just kept it with here. whoever the character I gave it to. Just so it's simple. Alright, let's check out the arena. The arena seems like it might be fun. Greetings. I don't think talking to these people... Yeah, they just want gifts. Okay. I want to talk to you, though. <sighs> and... There we go. Alright, real quick. We haven't done much with this bulletin board. Let's do donations. Let's see. Let's see. Ah, so I can finally give money to Firinae. So, exploration, we get times two the iron ore, steel, silver, bond fragments. And then I can adopt a cat, a chicken, and a donkey. Immediate rewards, harvest, bounty. Sure. To the next level. Um, so that gave us... Foods, rare fruit, question marks, bond fragments, okay. Okay, cool. Oh, you can have skirmishes in this. Okay. I can't wait to hit the open world again. Somnial map. Oh, that's right. This is fast travel. I don't need to go there. Right. To the arena! Let's do it. Let's fight. Is this where we level up? In the arena, you can have allies train to earn experience and raise bond levels. Ooh! In standard training, an ally you choose will spar with another ally. It costs nothing, but you can only do it a few times between battles. 
An emblem training increases the bond between an ally and an emblem. It costs bond fragments, but you can do it as much as you like. I don't think I need to do bond training because only if I was to switch the bond, the ring from one person to someone else new late in the game, then I would want to do emblem training. So we will just focus on bond training three times, huh? Okay. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. I think this guy should bond train with everyone. Because he can attack. Because he's a backup fighter, and backup fighters next to enemies that attack, so I can place like range people around him and get an extra attack out of them. So, I'm gonna have him fight. A training session Wait, who's he training with? Interesting. No holding back. Main character. I didn't choose main character. You're as strong as I expected. I worked up a good sweat. Etia here, busting in once again. This is my chance to shine. Okay, it's not always being careful. So what? It's just random. Wow, okay. Fram got destroyed. Oh, Fram got rammed. One. My muscles deserve a treat after that. So I was I was expecting this to be like skirmishes. So it's random who fights then. Can't say it's my favorite thing to see. Um I need to let Fram get more training in. Fram, 33rd steward of the Divine Dragon. Alfred has arrived. Bro, Fram is dead. Huh. Okay. I'll win the next one. Good lord, Fram. Never pick Fram as a standard partner. So I've explored all the map. We found the pet. We found the shops, right? We found the strength training. We found... Oh, there's an item on the ground. We're gonna go to the... We're gonna go to the bedroom. And we're gonna see if anything popped up there. And then we will end this episode there. This part. And it'll be titled, like, I don't know what I'm titling. Um, part 4 Somnial. Part 5. Whatever part I'm on. Part something Somnial. And then we're going to move into uh, the next part. I want to know how I can initiate a skirmish. Oh, you got to hold on. Cha uh, yes, Kayata, but you got to hold on. I can't talk about that while I'm recording on YouTube. Because I don't, I don't want to deal with all the extra stuff. Looks like something important belongs in here. Okay, well, I got nothing. Oh, yeah, and then I could... Uh, yeah, then I could do stuff. All right, so nothing else new here. All right, so everyone on YouTube, I will be back in a little bit. We're going to get started with the next part of the uh, story and figure out what's going on. See you on the next one.